quick few tips and tricks. My name is Josh Good. I'm a solutions architect here at ClickTech. What I'm going to show you today is how you can make multiple selections on a list box that, where the members of the list box have different attributes and uh, you want to make a certain combination of those attributes. So for example here, I have a list of players uh, who are NHL Hall of Famers and I have on the uh, next to that the position they played and actually you can notice some of them played multiple positions. And I may want to develop a fantasy team of, uh, of these NHL Hall of Famers particularly considering that the uh, NHL is on lockout right now. So uh, with regular click view, it can be actually quite challenging because when I select, say, my centers, and I choose a center, and then I want to go and check, select a goaltender, and I get my list of goaltenders, that actually overrides my selections, and I end up uh, needing to remember who the people are and, and, or stash them in a variable or something like that. But using alternate states, what I can do is I actually can select my team by having the script break it out and, and then select the individuals and then make the selection of all those players um, in, in the uh, default state. So, uh, for example, um, maybe for my, my left wing here, I'm going to pick uh, Bobby Hall. And my center, I might pick uh, Wayne Gretzky. And then my right wing, uh, maybe Maurice Richard. Uh, we'll take Tim Horton as a, one of our, our defensemen. And then for our other def defensemen, uh, maybe we'll pick Paul Coffey. And then for our goalie, uh, we'll pick the, uh, the original face masked goalie, Jacques Plant. There's Jacques Plant there. So now these are the, uh, the six individuals I want on my fantasy team. And then I can select this button here, Make Team. And it makes all those selections apply over um, to the default state. And then that enables me to, uh, to look here at what the stats would be for that, uh, that fantasy uh, team or fantasy line. You can see here we got uh, 6,000 pen penalty minutes combined between them. Um, and then we have uh, 2,559 goals and so forth. So how do we develop something like this? How, how, would I, how do I build this? So here's a, a blank version of, of the app. What I've done in advance is, is I've loaded the data in, and all I've done is just loaded the stats and the individual players. So this is the starting out script that we have, and I can see that I have players and positions, and then I have the stats for the players. And the data model uh, is just a basic data model, like that. So to build this out, the first thing I need to do is I need to identify who the players are and what positions they're playing. So I'm going to add an extra field for each position. And what I need to do is actually look at the position um, field and identify what position that player is playing and whether they played it. So you can see here in the preview, I have here, like Eddie, he played defense and left wing. So I want to make sure he, he appears in the defense and the left wing li list that we're going to create. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a function, of the find one of function. So I'm going to say if find one of, and then I can look for the letter D in the position uh, field and say if that's greater than zero, then return the player name. And I'm going to call this field defenseman. So what that's going to do is it's basically going to look through the, the text string in the position field and see if the letter D is in there. And since it's a pretty simple um, uh, there's only six positions they could possibly be, and only one of them has a letter D. All the player names will appear who are defensemen in the defensemen list. And I can repeat the same thing for all the other positions. And I actually have a little script that I pre-prepared to do that. So there it is there. So I'm looking for, um, for centers. I'm looking for either the letter C or the letter F. And, and then for right wings, I'm looking for the letter R or the letter F, so forward or, or right wing. And, and then left wings, and then goalies. So now I'll have a separate list that I can actually select from that will only have each of the positions in them with all the players. So we'll reload that. So now that the reload is complete, uh, what I'm going to add in is I'm going to add in uh, the centers, the defensemen, each of the positions as list boxes. Goalies, left wings, right wing. So now I've added in uh, all the list boxes add those in, and then I can just organize them uh, in the same position as we might see them for, uh, for a game. 
And then we're going to want two defenseman positions, because actually defenseman can play either uh, position, either side, left or right. So that's set up now. now. Everything's still connected. So for example here, if I pick the, the left wing selection here, that actually excludes selections from the other list boxes. So now we're going to apply alternate states to each of these list boxes. So to do that, I go to Settings, Document Properties, and then inside the Document Property, I go to Alternate States. I pre-set up most of them. Uh, you can see I have Goalie, Defense. Uh, I actually did Defense and Defense 2. And then what, what we're also um, going to add in here is, is Add to Center. So I just click Add, and I just give the state name. And I can give the state any name I want. In this case, I'm going to call it Center. And I now have an alternate state for each position. And notice, in this case, I needed two alternate states, Defense and Defense 2, because there, there are actually two defensemen I can pick for my, uh, for my team. And now I'm going to go into the properties of each list box and apply the alternate state for, for that list box. So here, this is left wing. And we'll apply the left wing state and so forth for each, um, each list box that's been created. Thankfully, we're doing this for a hockey team and not a rugby team. Uh, rugby union team because they have 15 players and that would take uh, just quite a bit longer. So now that that's done, I can now go and quickly select whichever group of players I want, and that that's all set up for me to to to, uh, to make that selection. I can now add in a table, perhaps with the uh, with the stats I'm interested in looking at. So I'm just actually going to go grab that from my previous um, example here that I had pre-set up. We'll copy that over into here. And uh, and then I'm also going to add in the, the player field, which are the actual individual players that we're going to want on our team. And this will interact, since this is in the default state, it will interact with this chart. So if I make some selections here, you can see here I get the various players. Make that a little bit long, larger. There we go. You see, I can get the players, but I need to transfer the selections that are all in alternate states on the left to this players box, and then we're going to use a button to do that. So I'm going to new sheet object, and I'm going to create a button, and I'm going to call it make team, and then I'm going to add some actions on that. So the first action I'm going to add is I'm going to do a select in field, and I'm going to take the player field, and I'm going to select nothing. So I'm basically going to clear the player selections. And then my first selection I'm going to make is going to be again on the player field. So now for my search string, I'm going to actually access the, the values in the alternate states for each of the positions. So to do that, I'm going to look at the field, and I'm going to use this expression here. So concatenate distinct. I'm going to use the, the alternate state for left wing, and I'm going to look at the player field, and then concatenate together um, with, a, with a bar. So what that will basically do is it's just going to pick the one player uh, and add that to, to my team. Now, I would actually have the option there if I wanted to pick multiple players, it, it would select those as well. Um, but that wouldn't really make sense unless I wanted to compare particular left wings or something like that. So click OK. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but instead of saying select in field, I'm going to say toggle select. And I'm going to do it again on the player. And exactly the same expression, and I just convert, take out left wing, and add in center. And there's the alternate state center, so I'm going to pick the alternate state for this. And I can continue to add the toggle select um, as, as needed um, up till I've done all the players. OK, so now that that's done, you can see I have multiple toggle selects, and I'm doing it for each position. And I have actually defense and defense 2 in there and goalie. And now when I click make team, what it will actually do is it's going to select all of these players and add them over on this side. So you can see here, 
and there's the five players I had selected. And uh, instead of being the top few players, we can go back to the original selections I made before. Do Bobby Hall, Wayne Gretzky. Oops, I missed that. Maurice Richard, Tim Horton, Paul Coffey, and Jacques Plante. And I say make team. The selections are made over here in the, uh, the default state. And then again, it's reflected down here in my player stats. That concludes Click View Tips and Tricks for today. I will be posting an example of this app up on Click Community, and I'll give a uh, link to that on the YouTube posting as well. If you need any specific help for your Click View environment, please remember that Click Community is a good spot to go, as well as our partners and expert services are there to assist you. Thank you.